Celtic struck gold, with Josip Juranovic and Aaron Moy, living the Celtic dream. Celtic FC have enjoyed notable success in the transfer market in recent times, with manager Angie Postacoglu appearing to have developed a knack for recruiting top-quality talent on the cheap in his Parkhead tenure to date. He 57-year-old has seemingly scoured the globe to find relatively unknown, hidden gems who can thrive in his attack-minded setup with that astute approach having been a key factor in the old firm side's imperious domestic form of late. One such acquisition, who has sparkled under the former Yokohama F. Marino's boss over the past year is defender Josip Juranovic, with the Croatian gem having been signed for just £2.5 million from Legia Warsaw last summer as part of an influx of new additions. That fee has gone on to appear something of a bargain with the 27-year-old has been an integral figure for the Glasgow side in recent times, having been lauded for his outstanding form to date by pundit John Hartson. The 20-cap menace played a key role in the club's Scottish Premiership title triumph last term, scoring three goals and providing one assist in his 26 league outings in that triumphant 2021-22 campaign. The versatile asset, who can also feature at left-back and in a more advanced midfield role, has also started the new season strongly with two goal contributions in just six league games, with Celtic currently five points clear at the top of the table. Looking down on the Rangers. Seemingly the perfect fit for Postecoglou's progressive approach, the 5'8 ace appears set to remain a vital presence at Celtic Park over the coming years, having firmly solidified his starting berth ahead of teammate, Anthony Ralston. You have to feel for him this season, not getting game time. But it's still early in the season. Aaron Moy living the Celtic dream, as he admits he's waited all his life for Champions League goosebumps. Aaron Moy admits it's been worth waiting all of his 32 years to finally savor the spine-tingling atmosphere of the Champions League. The Aussie is loving life at Europe's top table, as Angie Postecoglou's team go head-to-head -head with the elite. Moy always dreamed about taking part in this continent's biggest club show. Hearing the tournament anthem blasting out before games, the midfielder imagined being out there and taking in the sound as a participant one day. Now that day has come. Moy is now living that dream with Celtic in Group F, and he is cherishing the opportunity. Surrounded by younger colleagues within Postecoglou's setup, it has taken the international a bit longer to get there than some of his teammates. But that's just making it all the more special as he said, yeah, it's amazing. I'm loving it. Every time they play the song. I always dreamed of hearing that music when I was playing. Even when I am coming on in the matches, it's still an amazing feeling. You watch the Champions League on the TV growing up and you hear the song and you think, one day could you imagine playing in that? But when you get on the field, you don't think about it, you just think about playing football and doing what you do every day and every week. While Moy has had to wait for his opportunity, engine room teammates such as Rio Hat 8 and Matt O'Reilly have slotted into the Champions League with ease despite, by comparison, their tender years. Although many of the squad are inexperienced at that level, Celtic are showing no signs of fear in the section and, having given Real Madrid a battle in their opening game, managed to put the first point on the board after a draw with Shakhtar Donetsk. In truth, Postecoglou's team could, and should, have brought more back from Warsaw. The Scottish champions dominated for lengthy spells of the game in Poland and the performance, has the manager believing wins, are just around the corner if his team maintains the level of displays shown in the first two group games. Asked if there was disappointment in the dressing room afterwards, he said, yes, there was a bit. It was a bit similar to Real Madrid in that we had good chances, and we didn't put them away, and it was a bit disappointing that we didn't get a win. We did quite well. We created lots and enough chances to win the game, and we just lacked a little bit of composure and concentration when we had the chances. Celtic will go up against RB Leipzig next in the Champions League, but, for the moment, immediate matters of domestic and international action take centre stage. On Sunday, Moy returns to his former club St Mirren 
as the defending champions aim to extend their 100% start to the Premiership. So what will the score be tomorrow? Will Celtic find the route to net again back in the SPFL? And on that note, have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party. Roll